when you don't demand from the person whom you love deeply then you have no issue no problem hmm. your demands your expectations bring you more disappointment the moving on means not to be stuck with it and not to be not to have grudges about it instead of judging whether someone is a good person or bad person you should know that uh, everybody has got something good in them something bad in them same way with you too so uh, you must believe that you have the power to transform the person Hai semuanya, kita kembali lagi ketemu di Pulina Selaras Dan kali ini episodenya spesial Bahkan sangat spesial Kenapa? Karena it's really my honor Bisa diminta, diberi kesempatan untuk langsung ngobrol dengan Guru Dev Sri Sri Raffi Sangkar Dan Guru Dev ini guru spiritual, pembimbing spiritual Dan founder dari Art of Living Foundation ya, Art of Living Foundation ini dibentuk berdiri di tahun 1981 dan berkomitmen terhadap mengelola stres, meredakan stres dan menumbuhkan ketenangan batin buat kita semua. Guru Dev sudah berkeliling di banyak negara, diterima banyak orang, diterima oleh semua orang di berbagai kalangan secara universal di berbagai agama karena membagikan share tentang nilai-nilai kemanusiaan terutama cinta, kasih, dan sayang terkait compassion dan kali ini spesial sekali Guru Dev Indonesia di Jakarta dan Bali dan kita akan ngobrol terkait dengan apa yang selama ini diajarkan ya. dan karena ini episode spesial mm-hmm. saya mengajak satu teman saya untuk jadi co-host sebagai keterwakilan suara perempuan juga Ini ada Sanas Suartono. Okay. Terima kasih banyak Mas Aji sudah mengajak saya. It's truly an honor for us to welcome you here in Jakarta, Guru Dev. And now let's jump into our first uh, question. Um, maybe um, this is for the audience as well because we know we live in Jakarta. It's a very busy city. And there are so many people that are very anxious and trying to reduce their anxiety here in Jakarta. Now, um, how do we deal actually with anxiety, Guru Dev? And how to calm down our um, inner self, our voices in our heads? Maybe you can talk more about this. <coughs> yes. Especially post-COVID, there's a lot of anxious, anxiousness and anxiety, especially about youth. On one side, uh, there is depression. On the other side, there is aggression. Uh, the way to come out of it, I feel, is to attend to our mental health. See how we can feel more centered, more calm, more confident. You know, mind is so abstract, you can't directly handle the mind. You can't handle mind with mind. Because it's it's like a sick person trying to handle sick person. It's not possible. So, what is the way... One is to take medications, but that doesn't work on a long term. You take steroids and all, it seems to work for a few days, but then you're back to square one. Yeah. There is a secret, that is attending mm-hmm. to your breath. Mm. Because breath is the link between body and mind. Okay. For every emotion, there is a particular rhythm in the breath. So, using the breathing techniques, people are able to just go out come out of anxiety, anxiousness, depression, all these negative emotions. Okay. And this is what we have been teaching for the last 44 years. Okay, I see. So the breathing technique that, that will bring us to the present moment. Correct. Okay. And help you to get rid of anxiety. Today there are many uh, scientific uh, evidence-based researchers around the world in America, in India, and Europe, they have found out that these techniques, sky techniques we call it, uh, 
Now, the sky techniques have been immensely beneficial for people. Okay. okay. Uh, next question, maybe. Okay. Uh, it's about <laughs> relationship, Gurudev. How to forgive people who hurt us? How to forgive and how to forgive ourselves? Well, uh, let's go the other way around. Suppose you don't forgive, what happens to you? You are stuck. And you think about it the morning, afternoon, evening, night, all the time. Right? You are so bothered by it. Now, you have to save your own mind. So to save your mind, you need to take that step of letting go, forgiving. And uh, that helps. That helps. And we should put ourselves also in the shoe of the other person. Suppose someone holds a, uh, us against our mistake. Everybody has done some or other mistakes. Maybe small, maybe big. Just imagine someone is holding you against your mistake, which you not, you didn't do intentionally, but it has happened through you. Do you like it? No. What you would like them to do? Forget and move forward. So we also need to do, we should forget and move forward. Mm. Number one. Second, um, oh yes, forgiveness may, be, may appear to be difficult. But if you don't do it, you are punishing yourself. Mm. I usually say anger is the punishment you give to yourself for someone else's mistake. You want to be peaceful, you want to be creative, you want to move forward, then you must just move forward. Okay. Now, um, speaking of moving forward, how do we know when is the time to move forward and letting go, Gurudev? Uh, you see, I wouldn't say you should not fight, just be complacent, accept all the injustice. No, if you find there is some injustice, you fight it, fight it, fight it out. But keeping that in the mind and thinking about it the whole day is not going to help you. Mm. See, suppose you have a case, what do you do? You give it to the lawyer and you relax. Mm. Right? And lawyer takes the things forward. Mm. But if you are putting your whole energy into it, you can't do anything else. Mm. So similarly, when you uh, have a situation like that, take it like a court case, okay? You want to deal with it firmly, you deal with it. But this you can do only when you let go in your mind. Okay. Does moving on mean forgetting, Gurudev? The moving on means not to be stuck with it and not to be, not to have grudges about it, um, you know? Okay. Now, um, um, as we said before, we talk about relationship as well here. Now, um, speaking of um, for all here, um, we as a, I don't know, um, speaking of marriage, actually, marriage is a very important decision in our life. Now, um, how do we know to choose the right person? How do we know that it's the right person, Gurudev? <laughs> is it love or well you have something called a gut feeling okay. you should trust your gut feeling is it the same as intuition intuition Intuitive ability gut feeling your feeling um, you know instead of judging whether someone is a good person or bad person you should know that uh, everybody has got something good in them something bad in them same way with you too. So, uh, you must believe that you have the power to transform the person. To transform. Does transform mean changing someone? Change the person. Yeah. Um, you have power to impact others, to bring out the best in them. You know, everybody can bring out the best in the others or the worst in the others. Usually we bring the worst in others. Yeah. 
by our own behavior by our own behavior we can bring out the best in the others also for that we need to be very centered calm collective happy from within then you know people change hmm. see we can't say peep think that people are like stones they are not like stone idols yeah they are fluid they change hmm. right um and this change can be impacted in a positive way by you too hmm that's how yeah. you know before uh, to next question maybe uh, back to how to let go someone or something that we love deeply who to death to see we d- love someone deeply but we also demand something from them <laughs> when you don't demand from the person whom you love deeply then you have no issue no problem your demands your expectations bring you more disappointment mm. you should have a broader vision see love with wisdom brings only happiness and celebration love without wisdom uh, ignorance leads you to host of all negative emotions and leads you to misery and pain and suffering that is where here meditation wisdom knowledge this will all help one to keep the love in its pure form hmm okay thank you for that answer gurudev now um let's move on to our next question uh gurudev maybe you can explain to us what is a soul to you what is a soul what is a soul what does it mean to have a soul one who is thinking one who is feeling one who is existing one who is that something the energy in you that does everything that mm. is what you can call a soul mm. how do you know we exist meditation see um. we have three states of consciousness waking mm. dreaming and sleeping mm. right mm. so waking state of consciousness is only one part of your life dreaming is another part mm. sleeping is another part so when you know through meditation the one who is experiencing the three states of consciousness mm. then you realize you you raise to another level your consciousness becomes so uh, vivid and so clear and so centered Hmm. and then then i tell you nobody can take away your smile or happiness with no situation can take away and then you get a knowledge of uh, many things which you cannot even describe hmm yeah so uh, can i an average person know that the soul actually exists nobody can say i don't exist <laughs> <laughs> If someone says i don't exist hmm. you know it doesn't make sense who is saying that that i don't exist hmm. right hmm. so the person who is saying i don't exist exists right <laughs> true <laughs> okay so like this but to realize oneself one has to calm the mind see hmm. um, you cannot see the reflection clearly on a very disturbed surface of water mm. Mm. but when the lake is still you can see the moon reflecting mm. uh, when there is uh, you know lot of waves lot of disturbance in the lake you can't see the reflection similarly the mind becomes calm serene quiet then you can see it yeah okay. next okay <laughs> next okay um uh, moving on um now let's talk about um healing and also enlightenment um how do we heal ourselves from the pain that we carry as i said breathing techniques uh, are of immense benefit here in the beginning we even called our breathing programs healing breath workshop mm. because when people went through this for 3 4 days they were totally healed of 
all their emotional pain and all the suffering. But then we changed that uh, name because it, only people who, people who are really who need healing are sick. They thought that this is not for me. Mm. But now uh, it is not just healing; it is also uplifting. That is why we call it, uh, you know, mm, happiness workshop. Okay, everyone needs it. Everyone needs happiness. Yeah. That's true. How about enlightenment? Guru Dev, what is enlightenment? Enlightenment is ultimate blossoming of life. Like a bud is there, when the bud fully blossoms, it's called flower. Mm. Like that human potential, when it blossoms, when uh, one feels that you know I am part of the universe, the whole. And it's di- difficult to uh, describe enlightenment, but that is something which everyone unconsciously, consciously looking for. Okay. The ultimate goal of human life. Okay. Um, okay. My last question, Guru Dev. How do you raise your awareness? How do you? How do you raise your level of awareness? Uh, Level of awareness can be risen by activity that supports it. Number one, there are certain activities that doesn't support you raising your level of awareness. Mm. Uh, so certain activity which which helps you. The second, wisdom. Seeing a big context for life. Mm. Third is practices like yoga. Meditation, breathing, these practices, they they will all help you. Thank you so much, Guru Dev. Thank, Thank you, you so for much, the Guru answers. Thank, Thank you for the time. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih buat teman-teman yang sudah nonton dari awal sampai akhir. Semoga obrolan kami bisa membantu menyehatkan mental dan memulihkan batin ya. Semoga kita semua bisa menerima kenyataan seapa adanya. Selamat hidup sadar. <laughs>